What will the world be like in the year 2047? You might think no one can accurately predict technology 40 years into the future. CBS2 reporter Dave Malkoff joins us here in the studio with a look at one video which did just that way back in 1967. That's right, Paul. It's an internet video gaining internet meme status tonight that was made 40 years ago. It accurately predicted things like email, online shopping, podcasts, even these big plasma screens that are in a lot of people's houses now. Now, some people have called this an internet hoax, but it's not. It's more like something, you know, YouTube Nostradamus or something like that. What year is it now? Here, I'll show you. Despite the title, this educational film was produced in 1967 to describe a distant Father, and technologically advanced future. All part of the instant society of tomorrow. There are no flying cars in this house of the future, but there's this. This video console will be channeled into the store of her choice. There, a camera will scan a display of wares, which she will select by push button. It accurately predicted online shopping decades before it existed. What the wife selects on her console will be paid for by the husband at his counterpart console. Still stuck in 60s gender roles, it also foretold of online banking, email. Which allows for instant written communication between individuals anywhere in the world. Now there's some controversy on the internet whether this is real or fake. But this guy in the video is a young version of a game show host you might know as Wink Martindale. So, <laughs> Wink, real or fake? I think we'd have to say that's real. <laughs> <laughs> the Philco Ford Company, now part of Philips Electronics, made this all those years ago. Now the video is sold by AV Geeks on DVD, and that's how it ended up on the internet. But I had forgotten about it, but it's gotten apparently thousands and thousands of hits. You see microwave ovens, home video editing, plasma screens on the wall. Well, I'm watching this on a, on a Mac laptop, but uh, this could easily be the family central computer. What's next? Perhaps the students who watched this went out and invented this stuff. I mean, who would have thunk it? Who would have thought that back in 1967? So I guess I'm reporting from the future. The world of 1999 and beyond is limited only by the boundaries of our imagination today. Sure proves when you go out to predict the future. You never know. You never really know. You sure don't. You can see the film for yourself in its entirety on something they call the World Wide Web. It's a kind of a screen that allows you to see information by pushing buttons on a keyboard. Push the button cbs2.com slash Dave. Sandra, we'll send it back to you. Pretty cool, Dave. Thanks. Is it possible to predict the future? Well, filmmakers did just that 40 years ago, and last night we showed you an old film that is spreading as a viral video on the Internet. So now, backed by popular demand, CBS 2's Dave Malkoff with more on the eerie predictions in this eerie film. Glenn, i got to tell you, we never expected the feedback that we got regarding this story on the Internet and through emails and on telephone calls. Here is part two. It is very interesting, a film from the late 60s that predicts things like, like email and Internet shopping, and online banking, plasma TVs, personal computers, and video conferencing. I'm hungry. Yeah, me too. How about lunch? How about two minutes? Okay. Or how about a film that predicts the future from 40 years in the past? This was produced in 1967 by the Philco Ford Company, now defunct. Now, if you thought the pieces of the film that we showed you yesterday had some kind of strange prophecy of the future from decades ago, just listen to how the narrator described a personal computer. Which is secretary, librarian, banker, teacher, medical technician, bridge partner, and all-around servant in this house of tomorrow. Computers are all that and more today. We have webcams just like they showed in the scratched up film. We also have online shopping. The company also predicted home video and even Mike, would you make me a dupe of that? I'd like to show it to some friends of ours. Who video file sharing. Shades of iTunes. And trust me, it gets even more dead on from here. Try podcasts. This is lecture 102. Galileo's life work. Many students do download their lectures on podcasts today. It's become a viral video. I've had so many people tell me uh, via emails, 
Have you seen your 1999 video? Game show host Wink Martindale almost didn't take the acting job as the father in the film because he didn't want to look silly. So many of those things which I thought were ridiculously dumb. I mean, uh, I know we're going to enjoy a modernistic future, but certain things, I thought, no way. When the meal has been selected, the various portions are fed automatically into the microwave oven. Oh, how about some golf at Pebble Beach Saturday afternoon? Great, anything to get out of here. This film was made for classroom use, so it's possible this is a case of life imitating film strip. The fact that I'm hearing about it today in the year 2007 is very special to me. The things you've seen are technically possible. It remains only to apply what we now know to fulfill these dreams of tomorrow. Dreams that came true. Thousands of people from around the world have flooded our website to see the entire film. So I've posted the entire thing, all 24 minutes of it, on my blog on the website. That is kcal9.com slash Dave or cbs2.com slash Dave. Either one works. So there's yeah. more. There's even more things. There's 24 minutes of it. It's crazy <laughs> how it goes through. The only thing that didn't come true is they said we have fuel cells in the house and we, have, we would have closets that would actually clean your clothes. Oh, now that would yeah. be good. Yeah. <laughs> well, we have fuel cells in the cars, yeah, so yeah, they were absolutely. close. Yeah. All right. Dave, thank you.